Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host, and I'm glad to be with you again this week for this week's edition. Today we're going to be focusing on another new feature from the new 9.1 version of SAP Business One, and we're going to be looking at the addition of what we now call resources availability in the production module um, and how it integrates with the rest of the application. So uh, today's session will be uh, quite interesting. Uh, I've had a couple of days to really read through the, I think it's a, about a 90-page document uh, that is describing this new functionality, and to try to bring some highlights to you from uh, not necessarily a detailed point of view, but an oversight point of view. So please do not take any of my examples today as how you should set it up, um, and uh, because these are just, uh, I made it work. That's about all I will acknowledge at this point. But I think it's uh, pretty exciting for those of you in the production business who want to be much more granular about your costs and uh, other things that go into production. Generally, I want you to be aware that the version and the new features that we're looking at in these last few weeks uh, are available in the new 9.1 version, which is now in general release. Now, the general release patch is patch level 4. We highly recommend that you try to wait until the next patch comes out before you really begin looking at seriously starting an upgrade project. This allows some of the early adopters to go through the early general release patch and find additional problems and weaknesses and bugs that are still remaining in these new features and ferret them out and have SAP fix them. So when patch level 5 comes out, it's the one that I would actually recommend. So it's been about a month since general release uh, was launched. And normally after about a month, 45 days, 60 days at the most, we will typically see that next batch. So stay alert and tuned in, and we'll let you know when that patch is available because that's the one that I'll be the most excited to recommend to you at that time. So without any further ado there, I want to uh, kind of go through the agenda here a little bit, I think, and show you some of the things we're going to look at. Right, so there's a couple of pages here. So when you get this recording, uh, you'll be able to turn to these couple of pages and remind yourself about these things. Or if you go to the Total Care Customer Resources SharePoint site uh, under the.